Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on how we can resolve one defect. So that defect was related to the, uh, like we were able to add duplicate products into a cart. So in the last session, we added one condition so that we can, uh, we can um, add the uh, constraint so that user will not be able to add duplicate products into a cart. So we have resolved that defect in the last session itself. Now in this session, what we are going to do is we are going to work on again one uh, cart related functionality. So these are the cart items over here. We are able to see all the cart items, but we don't have any kind of delete button. So in this session, what we are going to do is we are going to add one delete button over here. And uh, whenever user will click on that delete button, then this particular cart item will get uh, deleted from the user's cart. So again, there are um, changes at there are changes that we require at the back end and front end as well. So it is pretty the, the, these changes are pretty small changes. So we are going to see uh, both of the changes into this session itself. Now let me just take you to the IntelliJ first because we need to create one API and then we are going to we will see like how we can uh, use that API from our front end. Now let me just go back to the IntelliJ. And let me just go to the cart uh, controller over here. We have to create one new API. So let me just do one thing. Let me just use public as of now. Let me keep it as a void and let me just make it as a delete cart item. Now over here, it this particular method is going to take one parameter, which is a cart item ID. You can just say it as a so we are going to make it as a path variable. And we are going to make it as a name is equals to cart item ID, something like this. It will be an integer. So let me add integer and let me make it as a cart ID, something like this. And we can make this as a cart ID itself. It will be uh, pretty simple. Now we don't uh, like we have to apply a security as well. So let me just make it as a pre authorize and we have to use like has role and we are just going to allow it for the user only so that is the reason we have to use has role and then we have to give user so user is nothing but a role so this particular api will be accessible only to the users alongside we have to use let me just make it as a delete mapping something like this and then let me just apply the curly brackets and let me just give a path. So let me just make it as a delete cart item, something like this. And let me just give a path variable. So we have to give curly bracket and then we have to give this particular cart ID, which is our variable name, something like this. Now our API, um, like API structure is ready. What we have to do is we have to just write some logic into the cart service. So let me just go to the cart service. So cart service is already we have injected. So let me just go to the cart service and let me create one new method over here. So let me just make it as public void delete by or maybe delete cart item. Then it is going to take one parameter, which is our cart ID, which is of type integer so let me just add integer cart id then what we have to just do is we have to just use cart dao dot delete by id and we just have to pass our cart id something like this now delete by id uh, basically returns nothing so um, like we can just keep it as a void itself and over here also in our in our controller what we have to do is we have to just use cart service dot delete cart item and then we have to just pass our cart id something like this and now let me just save these changes now let me restart the server let's see what happens so uh, let me just wait till my server is restarting so yes our server is restarted and it is um, like it is up now what we can just do is we can just try to call the same api which we just created from our ui side and let's try to so let's see how we can do this. If I just go to the VS code, let me first of all find out where this particular table exists. So I think we have created one component. So let me just close these particular files. 
so we have to go to the src app and then um, if i just go to the cart if i just go to the cart dot component dot html so yes over here we have this particular table now what we have to do is we have to add one more column over here inside this uh, table so how we can do this so first of all let me just go to the cart dot component dot ts and then over here we have on line number 12 we have an array that is called as a displayed columns we have to add one more column over here let me just give give the column name as an action and let me just copy this particular column name now let me just come back to the cart dot component dot html over here what we have to do is we have to uh, yes so we have to copy this particular ng container so let me copy this particular ng container and let me paste it again and over here inside the mat column definition we have to add action which is the new column name that we just added so make sure you are just copying the same and you are just pasting over here because no any spelling mistakes are um, allowed now let me just give the title as action itself something like this and now let me just remove this particular interpolation and now let me just add one button over here so let me just try to add button and let me just use it as a mat raised button and i will give the text as delete something like this now let me save these changes and let me go back to the google chrome yes now we are able to see one button over here so i just want to add one color so let me just make it as a color is equals to and let me just try to add as a primary so it is looking something like this instead of primary let me just try to make it as a worn which is the red color yes now it is looking perfectly fine now what we want is we whenever we will click on this particular button we want to call our api right so first of all let me just add one click event on this button so let me just add click event and let me just make it as a delete function now over here what we are going to do is we are just going to pass element as a parameter so this particular element like we are getting from over here so if you have any different name inside the mat cell definition you have to pass something like this so if you have different name make sure you are just passing that name over here now this delete function is not uh, yet created so we have to create it so let me just go to the cart.component.ts and let me just create one function which is called as a delete and let me just add one parameter something like this and as of now let me just make it as a console.log and let me just add something like this so whichever data i will get from the button click i am just trying to print it as it is so that i'll get to know that what is the exact data that we are getting if i just open the console now let me just clear the console let me click on delete button let's see what happens so yes this is the data that we are getting so over here we have the cart id then we have the product information then we have the user information as well but the only thing that we are interested is the cart id so we just want this particular cart id right so because with the help of this cart id only we are going to delete the um, like item at the backend so i i'm just interested in the cart id itself now let me just come back to the html file like cart.component.html i'm just going to pass element.cartid something like this so let me just remove this uh, blank space yes so i'm just going to pass element.cartid inside the cart.component.ts let me change the name to the cart id itself something like this cart id and over here we can just make the console.log cart id something like this now what we want is uh, let me just go to the product service over here we have to add one more function so let me just add public and let me just make it as a delete cart item something like this now this function is going to take one parameter which is our id so let me just make it as a cart id something like this now let me just return this dot http 
client dot delete and then we have to add our url so url is http colon slash slash local host colon 9090 slash let me just go back to the intellij and let me just copy this api name so let me just copy this api name let me paste it then we have to give the slash and at the end we have to append the cart id something like this and now let me save these changes now our service function is ready we have to just call this function from our uh, cart.component.ts so over here let me just come to the delete function again so let me just call this dot product service dot delete cart item then we have to pass cart id and then lastly we have to subscribe it so inside this subscribe we have to add two callbacks first one is obviously for success response and second and second one is for the error response so if our if our uh, like api call is successful then i'm just going to use console.log response something like this if at all we get any error error then i'm going to add one more log pack and i'm just going to print console.log err something like this and now let me save these changes let's see whether we are able to delete the product or not so as of now we have the two products let me uh, let me click on delete button so we have we got the null response but we haven't got any error which means that we are able to delete it successfully as of now it is not reflecting on the ui but if we just refresh the page then it will be uh, it will get reflected on the ui so the reason is obvious because um, like we are not refreshing the grid once our data like once we received uh, our data so what we have to do is we have to just uh, like once we got the success response then we have to just call this dot get cart details we have to just call this function so we are going to get the latest cart details and then it will in that way it will like refresh the grid now let me just come back to the ui and let me just go to the home page let me just try to add some pro more products into the cart something like this and if i just come to the cart right now we have the multiple products let me just try to delete the second product so yes once we delete it the cart is getting refreshed and we are able to see like um, latest cart items if i just click on it again it is getting refreshed if i just click on it again it is getting refreshed and if we want we can just add some more products over here something like this so i hope you got an idea around like how we can add the delete cart item functionality um, in the spring boot and in the angular as well if you still have any questions, let me know into a comment section and I will try my best to help you out in that case. And I hope you enjoyed this session. I'll see you in the next session.